All right, guys, let's go ahead and install the fancy three horsepower electric for a Newport vessel on this fly water by aisle. This thing could take up to a five horsepower gas, maybe a six electric for sure. We're gonna use this plate that luckily for us matches the patterns right here you see there and also lucky for us we got just the screws that we need for it let's start working on it and uh to put the motor we're gonna use this transom mount boom from yeah gadget i recommend you use a metal one I just wasn't able to take it off my other kayak before coming here today so I had to use what I have. <laughs> so right there it's kind of hard to reach there so I recommend you use a tool to like push this down as much as you can. One thing with inserts man is you gotta be careful you cannot just like overpower it and it's gonna be impossible for all this to be perfectly <laughs> aligned so just just be mindful of that don't don't go crazy if, if it's not going through just i don't know go try another one one thing i would say also is that the plastic cover on top should be like a slightly wider diameter so it's easier to push this thing down there and you don't have that friction of the plastic itself so you know how much you have to tighten it try some plate sweet i was worried that i wasn't gonna have enough like um clearance here to put those knobs over here but i do this is perfect here i put that one there instead of here because uh, this bolt is kind of like in in this one quite wasn't working so you know oh my god this is not gonna go anywhere dude like it's not gonna like the motor is not gonna push this up or down it's just gonna push it forward and like it's there dude it's not gonna go anywhere okay let's get ready lost my balance there in life there comes a time where elbow grease alone is not enough therefore you gotta call the big shots three horsepower electric versus inflatable fly water skiff something it's gonna be fun guys it's gonna be fun let's plug it in okay that's perfect gonna also plug in the battery at once because i don't want the, this getting wet the other thing we're doing here is we're gonna make sure that our battery is secure let's take this thing as deep as possible so we just crank on the motor and and go let's get out of here now it's raining man just started raining again we are having difficulties here not not so much a boat but me one of the difficulties is not able to turn with the handle properly because the, the backrest so you either put an attachment that you're able to control it properly or you do what it just did now should be able to turn no problem no bad rest rest no issues the other issue i'm having is i'm thirsty <laughs> i thought it was going to be more flexing some of the flexing is, is my mound the starboard mount not the boat i wonder what i should do i want to see if i catch a fish i'm gonna do a little bit of fishing then i'm gonna go ahead and do some uh demoing you know i thought the weather was gonna get nasty again but it didn't it just like one second just scares you oh my god it's gonna be ugly and then nothing happens but um i want to get over there do a little bit of fishing and yeah i want to do some fishing that's what i want to do just gonna set the motor a little there so it will push me out a little bit see if we catch anything there's 
scooters in there. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's a tiny tarp on slight. Like. Guys, there's some tiny little tarpons here. I cast it to them. They look at the bait, but no commitment. And I'm debating if I should spend more time trying to catch them or just go to the bridge where I want to go. Well, let's find out. The cool thing about an inflatable is that there's many ways to use it and you could literally float in inches of water. Now the tarpons were basically where I am now. So I'm assuming, I wonder if I could cast there, okay, uh, yeah. it was worth a try, we're right there in front of me, how did I lose that bite, how did I lose that bite, seriously, how? Set the hook hard and everything. How did I lose that? Feeding the first fish. Well, now that's their first fish. The first fish for the pitcher. It counts as a fish cut. That's right. Guys, I, I was like feeling a bite, feeling a bite, and I kept losing it. And uh, and guess who it was? The Cuda man kept losing the bite. Finally got him. First fish on the aisle is a Cuda. First fish on this air skiff with a snapper. Interesting. So much for gulp being like bad or whatever. That is the no fish number four that I have caught with this same Y gulp. Fish number four, guys. I wonder, I mean, I have fins, but the fins should cut through this grass, no problem. The current's still pushing me that way, so I think I may be able to make it. Too bad I didn't catch a tarpon. I think I had one opportunity, it felt heavy, heavier than I could have. Perfect cast, just no fish there. It's fine. I got caught up in uh, some of those sand explosion volcano thingies. But we're at the bridge already almost. It's just the current and the wind pushing me. Super cool, man, that I don't have to do anything. And then on the way back, I think I'm just gonna engage a motor and go through the, the boat ramp and just cut, uh, cut over the bridge and get here i don't know or maybe i just park over there somewhere and uh, get the truck we'll see I have to change my bait okay don't want to be touching barnacles okay nice one What did I tell you guys? I'm gonna keep you, dude. Got a nice snapper. This is like the second cast here. Legal snapper. Let's go. 
barnacles. I don't think it will be a problem touching the barnacles, but I don't want to touch. Well, I touch the barnacles. Just like that, we got dinner, guys. Oh my God, that's fish number five. Yes, that is fish number five with this messed up gulp lure that everybody talks about is not good. Like gulp doesn't last. Fish number five, dude. Uh, now it's really messed up. Something is like, now the curtain under the bridge is pulling me under and it took me all the way to the bridge and then it was pushing me back. I'm telling you, the curtain the keys is gnarly crazy, man. Now this bait is now gonna take it off the hook, use it for something else because the bait is no longer good. Now it's totally destroyed, five fish three dinner keeper that's crazy incredible if you ask me got the motor going at two miles an hour two miles an hour. oh my god can i talk got the motor going at two percent i think i could like do some fishing here like this maybe catch a I think one is good enough. I don't want to catch another one. I mean, I want to catch another one. I just don't want to keep it. So, see if we could fish here like this. put a little bit of 10% power here let's go back down to 5 2 just needed to get out of there quick oh god Just like that, I got out of whatever entanglement I had. Nice one, dude. Isn't this super cool? Like, literally, I'm using the motor there at really low speeds and just fishing this bridge here to if you eat my bait i'll keep you and i'm just catching keeper snappers right i'm going a little too fast let's bring it down to like two percent ah kuda and kuda don't break my bait there's another kuda nest to it like it's checking to see what's going on the other kuda wow that's crazy oh no my bait is messed up man My bait is messed up and I almost hit the bridge. Hey guys, let's do a little speed test. This is not like a perfect science because we're right here on a bridge and the bridges are gnarly. So I think the current is moving towards the bridge really fast going to the east. Right now I'm just going straight and I'm reading six miles an hour. Let me turn here. Let me go straight over there that way see how fast we go six point four miles an hour i saw six point one so it's about six miles an hour too okay let's cut over here let's go uh, this way against the current let's see what's up 
I feel some heavy resistance, man. Heavy resistance. We're right now going at five miles an hour. Like I feel like I'm, we're fighting something. 5.4. All right, let's go back to the bridge and see what's up. All right, 6.5. Give it a little bit of time to adjust. 7.3, dude, 7.9. <laughs> I mean, that 7.9 may be like um, not real, you know. 7.5 is definitely real because it's saying it a lot. I'm just gonna go under the bridge at speed. 6.2. Wanna see what happens over here? 6.9 7 miles an hour 7.2 7.8 we're keeping a 7.5 so let's go back under the bridge look how I'm sitting and this is like choppy waters and I don't feel for a second that I'm gonna flip at all and i'm going pretty fast for a boat like this yeah we're definitely fighting current at five miles an hour so maybe the maximum is like six six to seven miles an hour i have it fully loaded though the battery is on the back maybe we balance the boat a little bit more i'm gonna do a, a proper like water demo motor test video so stay tuned for that going off speed right here we're going under the bridge fighting all that stuff not bad this is how you do it guys inflatable super powerful motor i'm outdoor lithium battery new port use the uh, coupon codes i'm gonna put on the screen so you can save some money on those things affiliate link of course look at that we're on the bridge here in the Keys, just, just enjoying. Dude, like, going with the current and almost touching 8 miles an hour. This is nice. All right, guys, I want to hit the motor up, go through the deep areas, and go around all the way to the other bridge, go under it, and let the current take me, and see how long it's going to take me to get back to where I launched from. It's currently 4.38 p.m., and I'm going to troll on the way. I'm going to throw this lure because it's trolling. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put it right here see what happens let's go let me push back a little bit I'm fighting current right now so I'm probably going five miles an hour hitting some weight here some weight some stuff this is fun and I don't feel like I'm flipping, I don't feel like nothing. It would be nice if the seat was nicer that I could actually, you know, turn, but... You know. They do have a telescoping thing, or I don't know if they have it ready to be sold, but they have it that you can like steer with. Dude, we made it already! That's so cool! We're on the other side! What the heck, bro? We're here already! It's very shallow over here. Let me turn off the motor see what happens. Motor is off. I'm gonna see what the current does to me. But we're getting stuck because of my motor, so let's bring it up. Isn't it amazing when a plan comes together? We cut fish, we have dinner. I should clean it up on the way there. Yeah, let's clean the fish. Oh my god, he made point true. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm doing this on purpose. See this, the something that supposedly punctures through this type of things 
are the fins so I'm using the boat as basically a cutting board see what happens just like that it's clean it's ready to go we're good almost there I want to do a test the chances of a fish like this hitting the hole of your inflatable exactly with one of these fin punchment are very low it could happen but I want to see what happens if the fish tries to hit this rubberized area look at that it doesn't go in Yeah, it does go in. Having a hard time going in. It's like a needle, but see, it goes in, but it doesn't go deep enough. I mean, a giant fish, maybe, but like, what are the odds? <laughs> 